Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. Union Ministry cuts down export duty from 30% to 10% on all lower than 58 grade. Experts say reduction doesn't guarantee resumption of mining. No current, no water, sleep under open sky with mosquitoes. Residents of Baina Hotmans feel betrayed after being used as a vote bank. MLA vs Minister Michael Lobo slams Dayanand Mandrekar, Minister shielding culprits in Xavier Retreat Centre incident at Baga. Head Constable Vaman Naik acquitted in police prostitute nexus case. Punji District and Sessions Court discharges him, giving benefit of doubt. And Punji police identify car involved in Puki murder case at Altin. Zero down on Anuradha Kapoor as prime suspect in the case. And now the news in detail. Union government has agreed to cut down export duty on iron ore. Union Finance Minister Arun Jetli has announced a slash in export duty from 30% to 10% on ore lesser than 58 grade. Cut down will be implemented from June. Go and mine owners and ore exporters were demanding reduction in export duty from a long time. Experts say if the market situation continues in similar fashion, then resumption of operations will be uncertain even after the current reduction. With the collapse of ore prices in the international market, Goan mine owners and ore exporters along with Goa government were looking for a cut down in export duty from a long time. Union government on Thursday announced a slash in export duty by 20% on ore lesser than 58 grade. Export duty is now 10%. Mine owner Harish Melwani has said that industry is not satisfied with the cut down. It will be effective only from 1st of June. In some way it is a good news. In practical way it is a good news. Because in June it is not a good news. What is it going to do now? but Goa Mineral Ore Exporters Association President Shivanan Sargaukar has welcomed the revision in export duty. This will be a big help uh, in, uh, in the, you know in paving the pave, it, this will pave with the way for resumption of mining in Goa hmm. because with the twenty percent reduction in this uh, uh, fallen market it will give us uh, uh, possibility of exporting uh, uh, ore. And also, in the first instance, you know, what will happen is that the state government will be able to e-auction mm. and move the cargo, thereby vacating the jetties and the mines where, where, the, stock, there, where the stock is lying. Mm. So the fresh stock, when the mining resumes, can be stopped. It can be stopped. Number two, uh, it will be a big incentive to, I mean, it will be a big uh, help, not an incentive, it will be a big help in uh, filling the gap which is caused by the uh, the, the collapse of the market. The market has collapsed from uh, almost by about 60%. Mm. So this 20% reduction in export duty will help us in uh, in, 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 in resuming exports. Yeah. Mining start in October provided all other uh, statutory com con uh, requirements are met. I mean, IBM has a plan. We have to get IBM. Uh, uh, the scheme has to be approved by IBM. Mm. Then we have to get a consent from the uh, Pollution Control Board. Hmm. And then we have to, yeah, these are the main things that are pending now. But we, we can expect by October, November to, to start. In, in, in case the market, market doesn't further collapse, which I don't expect. 
Mining industry experts react that resumption of mining operation will totally depend upon the market condition in the next season. If the prices in international market are unstable, then it will be tough to restart mining. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar for Prudent. No current, no water. Sleep under open sky with mosquitoes all around. This is how residents of Baina Hatpen spend their summer days. Though the High Court has extended an interim relief to the residents, government has failed to restore electricity and water to the occupants. The occupants are agitated with this attitude of government. They feel betrayed after being used by the politicians as a vote bank. कन्नड़ लोग कन्नड़ लोग वोट मारने को मांगने को आता है वो कन्नड़ लोग नहीं समझता है कन्नड़ लोग का पीछे खिचल में पाँव रख के हम लोग का साथ कन्नड़ लोग है हमारा मेहमान है बोल के हम लोग का साथ बैठ के वोट वोट लेता है वो जीतने का बाद हम लोग का ऐसा हालत पानी पीता नहीं वो जेर डालना मांगता है जेर पी के इधर ही मरता है बाहर बच्चे को लोग सबको मालूम होना मांगता है पंद्रह दिन हुआ बाबा पानी नहीं लाइट नहीं पचास साल से हमारा जिंदगी इधर ही गया हमारा बच्चा लोग पढ़ेला हाई स्कूल सब इधर ही है बाबा अभी बच्चा लोग को सब तक तकलीफ हो रहा है ना लाइट ना डोले दिस ना मजे कार कान किधर करते ले आओ ऐसे ऐसे पोसा था हमारे अच्छा 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 करो तुम का पाप दिस ना जानते रखा जा आ कार कान उड़ाई ताज़े अनुदिक नस्तन ना ही नस्तन रात भर तेजर आउट होले आप थोड़े दिन सांप आउट हो चालू दाव पे ले क्या ना लाइट गाल दोले क्या ना उधर सोट दोले हमका बुरिया यदि यदि बुरिया अंग्यो ना मिंग नित्ते रोस तेजर This is how the residents of Baina spend the biting summer along the seashore, living with anger, hatred and pain. Earlier on Wednesday, during the hearing for 5th May, High Court had lifted the status quo order on demolition to 55 Baina hut owners. Simultaneously, the court has extended interim relief to the rest 150 Baina residents. Dishant Parab for Prudent. Kalangut MLA Michael Lobo has come down strongly on his own party minister Dayanand Mandrekar. He alleged that WRD minister Mandrekar is shielding culprits in Xavier Retreat Centre incident at Baga. He also objected to any new casino in Kalangut constituency. He threatened to hit the streets with people if more casinos are brought in his constituency. Michael has alleged that WRD Minister Mandrekar is involved in protecting the culprits in Xavier Retreat Centre episode. You have to say that what is the need for the people who are involved in the world? One is a senior politician who is involved in the world. So, you have to say that. The minister is the minister for WRD. Who is the minister? If they are involved, they are involved. So, they say that they are involved. They say that everybody knows about it. He alleged that NCP leaders have connection in retreat centre issue at Baga. The NCP spokesperson Trajano Di Mello has alleged that I have got some ulterior motive or I am hand in gloves. I don't know who is this Cleopas. He is a ward member. We respect him for that ward member. But beyond that, we have no uh, uh, connection. But the NCP senior vice president, NCP senior vice president has got big connection with him. And the land which is being purchased, the money is being paid by the so-called Salim Sayyad. Michael has strongly objected to any new casino in Kalangut constituency. He said he, along with people, would hit the streets to oppose any new casino. I will oppose them. I will oppose. We, people will come on the streets. Nobody wants more casinos in, in, in Kalangut or in Goa. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar with Umkar Falari for Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.